my name is Brittany and the purpose of this vlog is to explain to other people how we came to the conclusion and the decision that uh, vasectomy was right for us. Here we go. We have three beautiful children. When we were trying to decide if we should have more, neither my husband or I felt like we need more. We need more kids. Neither of us really felt like we were done. We're done having kids. My husband really did feel done. He was just happy where we were at. And I was like, okay. So we decided to pursue like a really spiritual route on trying to get an answer from God if this was the right thing to do. We both are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And we went to our house of worship. We went to the temple. We said lots of prayers. Um, three different times I went to the temple specifically with this question in mind, like, am I supposed to have more children? Each time I went, I just, I felt, um, I, I mean, it was just kind of like this numb stupor of thought. I never felt like a really strong answer. I'd read the scriptures while I was there. And every time I'd read stuff that was like, um, and the Lord said unto him, I accept this house. And I'm like, I mean, what is that supposed to mean? Is that an answer? Does that mean you, you accept my house, how it is, you know? After several months of praying about this, we made the appointment and we decided, okay, this is it. Heavenly Father, we're going to do this. We're happy with our family, how it is. We tried to get a really direct answer from you whether or not you wanted us to have more children. And we feel really confident and really happy that this is the right choice for us. We made the appointment and... Hi! Right. Um, hi everyone, it's Brittany from Documenting Brittany. And um, I just wanted to update you that we decided as a family that we were going to have a vasectomy. And so my husband went ahead with the surgery. He is literally thinks he's gonna die. It, it, it wasn't very fun, I guess, according to him. Sitting with a bag of peas on his lap. You know, I, I feel I feel like pretty at ease. I'm just gonna go forward with this. We're just gonna move forward. We're not gonna look back. I'm not gonna have any regrets. I you know a lot of people have asked us like how we came to this decision and how we were so sure it was the right one. And the answer is we weren't. Like, honestly, we weren't sure. Um, I never had some huge, magnificent answer, but I think Heavenly Father was just letting us make our own choice. I think he wanted to give us that freedom and that liberty. Yeah, there's your update. Wow, so this vlog is turning out to be something else. Um, something other than I thought it was going to be. This past general conference, uh, as we were sitting and listening to the talks as a family, one of the speakers specifically said that Satan will try to discourage families from having more children especially those who he knows will raise them right. I just knew that Heavenly Father was talking to me. I just, I, there, there are not really words to explain it. I know Heavenly Father was saying specifically to me in my heart, I want you to have more. I want you to have more children, and I trust you with this. I trust you with this calling. And I just immediately, I just started sobbing, tears everywhere. And my husband was just like, what is wrong? Are you okay? And I was just like, no, no, I'm not okay. I was so ashamed. I was so ashamed because I thought I'd done everything that I'm supposed to do to find an answer on my own. Like I didn't make this decision selfishly. I tried to seek a really spiritual response and I didn't get one. So we went forward with what felt good to us and it felt fine for a while. 
I mean, it doesn't feel fine to me anymore. I definitely regret it. Not the kind of regret that's like, oh, why did I make that decision? Like, I know why I made that decision, and I tried. Like, I tried really hard. I did all the, the right things. I, I didn't do anything wrong. But now I see, having waited six months, I feel Heavenly Father pushing us to expand our family. The last time we talked, I think I was uh, filling you in on some of my regrets. We spent a couple of months talking about adoption and if that would be a feasible choice for us and our family. I was really on board. <laughs> I was really excited about the idea and the prospect. But my husband was a little bit more hesitant and nervous, you know, understandably. We ended up discussing what the other options were. He was pretty sure he wanted to have more biological children. <laughs> Here we are. Um, yeah, I guess. Do you go through with like a surgery? Do you, I mean, I know they're reversible. I don't think you have a very high chance of them working. But I guess that's what we have to decide now, <sighs> what we're going to do. I'm, I, don't, I really don't feel comfortable talking to people about this, which is kind of weird because usually I talk to people about everything. But in, in the situation I'm at and with the people around me and that some of them have several friends that are pregnant, family members that are trying to get pregnant, two really close people that are... Um, having infertility struggles right now and I just I just don't want the focus to shift onto this drama right now this is a personal drama <laughs> life I guess I will have to pray a lot about it again um, I plan on going to the temple a lot seeking a spiritual answer okay so um, we have come to the decision, finally, that we are going to have a reversal. So we are going to do a vasectomy reversal. A really big decision that we had to make. And I think it was harder for Glenn to come around to the idea than it was for me. I think I came around to it really quick and was ready, but of course, it's not my body, you know. It is like detrimental this stays quiet and I am not a secretive person at all like <laughs> I am as open book as they come but I have a couple reasons why when people find out after we did the vasectomy they're gonna find out we're doing the reversal and they're gonna be like but why like I'm not ready to answer that question there's so many reasons why so many reasons besides that it's not guaranteed it's not like a hundred percent guarantee so the surgery might not work and like i might not get pregnant or if i did it might be like years from now i mean there's just so many like if and or buts so i just didn't want to announce it and make it this big deal like oh we're doing a reversal and then like have nothing to show for it i just didn't want to deal with all that so here we are with the final decision. I'll have you know that I second guessed everything. I second guessed whether we really did even make the right choice in the beginning. I second guessed all the spiritual promptings I've got. I second guessed all the scriptures I read, especially while I was in the temple. One time I was in the temple and I swear, I swear the words popped into my head, you are pregnant. Like, it's not like I was just driving down the street in my van. Like, I was at my place of worship and they just popped in my head. I mean, I was so confused. I went straight to the store after I brought a, bought a pregnancy test and took it. It was negative. Over the last few weeks, I've probably taken four, four pregnancy tests. I don't know, I guess wishful thinking. I just thought maybe by some miracle, it will have failed. I don't know. 
I don't know. I I have just been in such a place of doubt and, and self questioning lately. Am I even really getting answers to things? Have I been have I been getting the wrong answers to stuff all along, or is this really just one of those situations where Heavenly Father lets you He lets you make decisions? and then face the consequences and, and sometimes they're fine and they're not bad and then sometimes you change your mind it looks like we're leaning towards trying the reversal and i mean we'll just try to get an answer i'll just keep going to the temple and praying about it over and over and over <laughs> okay so it's the morning of as we speak, Glenn is at the surgery center getting the reversal. And it's this little one's second birthday today. Can you say happy birthday, Tosh? Happy birthday! <laughs> I think I'm, I'm like so confused that this is this is real this is happening we made this decision that we can have another one of these we don't know for sure how successful it's going to be um we don't know when and if that will happen and so i don't want to get my hopes up yet because today's too fresh um, I'll come back in a week or so and talk about how I feel about it. I mean, there's no going back now. <laughs> I guess I said that the first time. So, I just know we're trying to do what's right. Trying to do what our Heavenly Father wants us to do.